I'm not sure if I'm on the right resolution though. Yeah, that is a sad truth, Kaido. Let's hope though, I'm not sure if I've previously... Three, two, one, fix. Not sure if I've previously streamed on 720p with this game, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so <laughs> we are at GNR. We've talked with three dog, I believe. You look like someone with about a million questions. Lay them on me. Where's the Washington well, Monument? It's only the tallest thing left in the city. When you step out of the museum, take a good look across the mall. You can't miss it. Just be careful. There may still be a security barrier around it. Alright. So basically right on, right on. keep your radio tuned to GNR for the real gospel. We gotta get a satellite dish for him to improve his radio quality, and only if we do that he will tell us where our father went. So yeah, let's freaking do that if I can even freaking kind of be sober enough to remember where and what the fuck I'm supposed to do because I don't remember jack shit now it's been a while as well uh, I should probably actually quickly go to Megaton to store some crap before going back here So let's fast travel to freaking Megaton, empty our freaking inventory. I just have too much crap. I believe I even add some extra power armor and stuff like that because we have our 100 repair, so. Uh, yeah, it's fine, like, no worries. It's. <sighs> I just don't want to think about it because I'm already getting kind of sad from the inside when I do think about it. Uh. Let's see, Kamacho and Fat Man. I mean, Fat Man is kind of an unnecessary weapon. Don't really use that pistol. Nope. As he is plus. Okay. Um... So far, we cannot use the power. It's like, you'd probably say, um, why are you not using power armor? Well, because power armor, you need a perk to use. And we do not have that perk yet. So we cannot use power armor yet. Sadly enough, that's how the cookie crumbles. And eventually, later in the game, we will be able to learn that and use our power armor. Even though Duke Nukem thinks power armor is for pussies, but you know, power armor in Fallout is pretty cool. Uh, GNR Building Plaza. Alrighty. Wait, have I. How much inventory have I now dropped? Okay, about half of my inventory. <laughs> Wasted. Noish. Okay, so I think we gotta go that way. Oh, downstairs actually. So now this is a one-way road. We can only go down here, and if we go uh, down, we cannot go up anymore. So, uh, Geronimo, well, we cannot go back up there. There's no way to jump that high. Even from up here, we cannot make that jump. We're getting old. I'm finding I don't have an excerpt to play competitive multiplayer anymore. What? I mean, that sucks. 
because I'm doing amazing at uh, Quake Champions. If that's, I'm assuming you're referring to Quake Champions. But hey, maybe we should play that co-op sometimes. And maybe I can give you some tips and tricks because I'm really enjoying myself with Quake Champions. It's really amazing. We might even stream it later tonight. Although I'm not sure if that would be a good idea because I have a decent amount of alcohol in my body now. Hmm. Quick time Realm Royale, I am doing terribly. I can't hit the broadside of a barn. Well, I have no idea what Realm Royale is. It sounds like a Battle Royale game, and I'm not really a fan of that. Um, but Quake Champions, yeah, I fucking love that game. Man, what are, what are the issues that you're having with Quake Champions? Um, because, man, I want to help. And if it's something that, you know, if it's the fast movement that is a problem for you, then maybe you should play something more slow, like World of Tanks or <coughs> World of Warships, if you want to go even slower. Alright, we are in a metro area thingy, so we gotta be careful, because there's probably some feral ghouls hiding around this business area well not business area but it's our business because killing is our business isn't it Let's check our quest marker real quick just to be sure galaxy news radio find the museum of technology so that's what we're gonna find and get a dish from there exactly light Oh crap, we got ourselves a feral ghoul roamer here. It's probably one shot. Howie. I hope the game's not too loud, by the way. Maybe I'll have to lower it down a little bit. Let me know if the game is too loud or if the volume is fine compared to my voice. In the worst case, I can lower my volume of the game. Uh, health issues, but like your own personal health or like health in the game? Well, why are there two markers? I guess to go back. Oh, let me just. Isn't this a collapsed car tunnel? Oh. Hey, a dead wastelander. Oh, I didn't want to get his outfit, by the way. Let's drop that real quick. What's over here? Oh, so it is about seizure. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not reading everything correctly because of the alcohol. Like, I'm drinking quite a couple of beers, so my apologies. That's not a good thing, I'm sorry. No, the main reason I'm really drinking quickly here is just to forget about my pain and, well, pain. Um, you know, about anything negative. Just, you want to forget about every, anything negative. I'm just here to have fun and stream and... I just... Over it gets the super meaty. Hmm. But like.
tracking them qu only in Quake? Like, can you still lead targets? Because, you know, for example, World of Tanks requires you to lead targets as well, but not as quickly as in World of Tanks. You have, like, it's, like, way easier over there. So I could, you know, if you really want something competitive and a bit slower paced, then maybe one of those games is a bit better for you. I'm still trying to freaking work out making new tutorials for that game, by the way. Man, there's a shit ton of caps we're collecting here. Look at all those caps. There were like 75, freaking 60 or something, and like... Yeah. Yeah, that is a sad truth. We cannot, uh, well... Like... Uh, f like... We can play together, but that requires one of us to be on a shitty server that is not properly uh, for us. Hmm. Yeah, maybe if, if you gotta go even slower than that, then you know, there's World of Warships, which is so slow and a lot easier to lead targets. So less. Uh, you know, for me it's boring, but you know, I very rarely play World of Warships, like maybe once every year or something, or once every half year. I'm not saying it's a bad game, it's just too slow for my likings. Hello Raider! Shot through the head! Rest in pieces! Ammos. Oh my god, we're level up! Boy! Level 10 hype! Level 10 hype, boys. Okay, so what do we want to focus on? Small guns? Take a break, like a real test for a few weeks, and it'll get better. I don't know, man. I really would not know if that will work or not. I mean, I'd go for small guns, because I'm just such, such, such a... I just love small guns. But I barely use fab big guns. Well, I'll get it to 90, but... Eh. <gasps> Medicine. Medicine is good. I mean, I, I don't even carry any big guns, so why should I? I'd rather go for energy weapons. And medicine, because that, that, that'll keep me healthy. Night person here. No, never. And I mean, uh, never use here and now. Because that's just literally wasting a perk. Because that immediately just gets you level up. Additional 15 points to big guns. I mean, maybe I'll do size matters, but scrounger, more ammo. That does sound good, though. Toughness, 10% overall damage resistance, up to a maximum of 85. Yeah, I'm planning to do the DLCs a lot later, actually. But that's because I just want to have, like, you know, not too much of a clusterfuck of stories and stuff. And I just want to have, you know, a basic build with capable things. I think I'm gonna go for Scrounger. I love finding more ammo. Gotta get them alcohols and them chems. But yeah, we'll do. We will be doing uh, all the DLCs eventually. Man, I just. I just. Ah, there's so much controversy with this game. Like, is the bad game, is the good game? 
I love this game. Radar plus. Radar plus. <laughs> Rekt. Ooh. Kaido loves Fallout 3 for what it does well. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, no, I'm actually playing vanilla, though I am interested to one day play with mods, but I just... I can enjoy vanilla enough. I don't really need mods to, you know, improve this game in any way. I know there are improvements, you know, and a lot of people dislike the green filter Fallout 3 has, but I'm kind of okay with it, you know, it kind of has charm. But... Oh man, my combat shotgun is getting fucked up. I just... Man... Maybe it's just a nostalgia thing, but I doubt it. I just... You know, obviously the combat isn't great. The guns don't feel great. Or that the non-combat skills really didn't have that much use outside of maybe repair. I mean... Uh, if we look at the freaking barter, barter always works because if you're buying and selling, it just literally increases the prices of buying and selling. So anything you buy will be cheaper, anything you sell will be more expensive. That's literally what barter does. Um, Lockpick, you know, obviously it will unlock very hard things. Uh, medicine will just give you extra health when using uh, like any med 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 bleh bleh, you know stim packs and all that crap uh, rad axe rad away it just increases the effectiveness melee weapons I now I'm honest since the melee combat sucks anyway I've never really made a melee bolt before Science, hacking terminals mostly. Uh, small guns, obviously. Yeah, that's, not, that's a combat skill. S sneak is kind of a combat skill. It can just, you know, you can sneak around and get those critical hits very easily. Those sneak attacks. And that can just insta-kill anyone. The computer is in effect most of the time. You can find a password in your bio key. I actually have not been able to find a lot of passwords and keys, if I'm very honest. I think that is not very true. Like, in some quest related areas, yeah, but when it comes to random loot locations, you're probably not gonna find a password or key. Only the quest related things have that available. And speech, you know, speech checks and unarmed. Uh, again, never use that. But I think. My only the, my only complaint is really that the weapons don't feel that good. Like I that's if the weapons would feel as good as Fallout 4's weapons, then you know this would be a, pretty much a perfect game for me. Skills abuse dialogue as well. The skills, but that's the thing. Your skills can be used in Fallout 3 as well in dialogue. It's just that you cannot see it. When you can't use it, but you do get, you know, medicine option, intelligence option, science option, medicine option. You do have those options. When your medicine or science is high enough, you get a dialogue choice regarding that skill. That does happen. Not sure if you've ever seen it, but you do have those options. It only appears when your level is high enough.
dead feral ghoul. He has a bobby pin. A red and blue pass card. I'm just gonna take it for YOLOs. Oh crap, I've activated the trap. Let's go out the fuck away for it before something blows up. Just not as frequent or even quite the same effect as in New Vegas or even in previous fall games. That could be possible. That is not frequent enough. I have yet, I'm, I'm yet to play the original Fallout games. New Vegas, I've played a little bit, a decent amount, but never completed the game. And I didn't know there's that much of a difference, but maybe there is. And everybody did. I liked it. Hey, bros, join the party. Oh, <gasps> excuse me. Ooh, look at them goodies, more ammos. mod I'm almost always end up using fast as time slow instead of auto aim I mean I'm fine with the way VATS works in this game I actually found it a little bit weird to have it slow down time in uh, Fallout 4 if that's what you're comparing it to that is I'm not even following the compass, by the way, I'm just recognizing these specific areas from previous playthroughs. the vaults vaults of fallout 4 storytelling was damn good exploration shooter i really liked like there's a lot of things fallout 4 did well the base building mm, the combat that has been greatly improved the weapon modding uh, the power armor was an interesting change that I actually pretty liked I'm not saying it was better but it was definitely more interesting than just equipping power armor as another uh, appearance suit um, what else the legendary enemies I really liked uh, the collectible thingies you know paints and other skills uh, and because I'm more of a casual when it comes to RPGs. Shrunky, you filthy casual! Yeah, I'm sorry. When it comes to RPGs, I'm more of a casual. I prefer... This is my preference. I prefer to be able to max out all my skills instead of having to make a bold. So, Fallout 3... Unless you're following a specific guide, you're probably not going to be able to max out everything. Uh, original Fallout, you're never gonna max out everything. Fallout 4, you can just keep on leveling up endlessly and just have everything max eventually. That's something I personally like, but I do understand that it dulls the game down. It's just because I'm too much of a scrub, too much of a casual to, you know, like that. I just like having, I just like maxing stuff out. My main issue with Fallout 3 was pretty much 
the thing, the biggest strength Fallout 3 has, and that is exploration. I think the world of Fallout 4 was not nearly as interesting to explore as Fallout 3's world. Because Fallout 3, I've explored this wasteland so many times and I'm still finding new things that I've never seen before. Well, in Fallout 4, eventually, like, after completing the main game, I went exploring and I just couldn't find jack shit. I just c couldn't find anything interesting. It was just boring crap most of the time. Like, n not as many interesting locations, weirdly enough. That was my biggest, you know, con of uh, Fallout 4. Just the lack of interesting places to uh, explore. Mostly it was just, I don't know. Like, there were just, if I'm just thinking about memorable, uh, the most memorable locations to find outside of people, outside of like, you know, any locations that you'll find through the main quest don't count, you know, so for example, Megaton, Rivet City, they all don't count because you're going to go find that through the main story. Same goes for Fallout 4's Diamond City and all that crap. So if I'm thinking, you know, first thing that comes to mind, the freaking vaults, you know, just in my opinion, more interesting. Though it's kind of unfair to say Fallout 76 because that one's a story related vault, but still that vault is freaking interesting. Uh, and then you got the Gary vault with all the clones and all that crap. And, uh... Then I think of other interesting things in Fallout 3, like places. For, first thing that comes to mind, Andale. With the freaking, uh... With the freaking... Uh, freaking cannibals. That's one that comes to mind. What else? Freaking Oasis. It's a whole different kind of thing to find in Fallout 3. Republic of Dave, which is very memorable in my eyes. Um, what else? I remember this big raider thing going on somewhere in the west of the map, where there's like a ton of raiders with like a deep cave and there's like a super mutant behemoth over there. Uh, the whole freaking DC area in and in it of itself is very memorable and very interesting. Although the Boston area is pretty similar and interesting, but there's not as many buildings to really uh, explore in there. And if I try to think of similar kind of memorable things in Fallout 4, I just can't really find that many. I can, I, only things in Fallout 3 pop up, like Arafu with the freaking vampires, that's very interesting. Um, freaking the Keller family transcripts, which we still gotta find, but uh, Light has probably never heard about that, but it's like some video, no, some audio logs by a family. It's very tragic, but uh, we'll end up finding that later. I can only think of really interesting places that had something unique behind it in Fallout 3. In Fallout 4, just not so much. I do remember that uh, parking lot in Fallout 4 with all the booby traps. That was pretty cool, but it didn't have any story to it. But it was still a pretty cool area. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the. Uh, what was it? Cabot House or something? That was pretty cool. But 
Rip Doggos. Noif. Yeah, that's just my main thing. Just a lot less interesting areas to visit in Fallout 4. Raider, I'm gonna cut your legs off. And your arms and your head. And now you are a doormat. We'll be right back with these important messages. Don't want to knife this feral ghoul for some reason. What other weapons do I have? Chinese assault rifle. Everyone who ever visited this stream said that it's pretty OP. Ooh, a combat shotgun. I need that. Pretty shitty quality, though. Like the barbarian darts, eight ball. There's one item that's called the lucky eight ball, and if you equip it or carry it around, you'll, your luck will increase by one. Crack like the barbarian melee increased by two. Do we have another one? Dean's electronic science, no repair. Oh, I already have repair max. Ah, uh, that's pretty useless. Someone's hanging. Another stim pack, I think, or maybe some Nicole actually. Bruh, do you even know who you're fucking with here? Okay, that works. I mean, me shooting you through the head with a shotgun is gonna be fun. Man, I love the combat shotgun. Man, I actually wanna do Agatha's quest. But I gotta find the freaking vault. And I don't wanna look it online. Where the hell it is. an hour to restore our health
Oh, he's crouching. Oh, one shot, one kill. Go for the torso here. There we go. Well, what the fuck's happening with her body? Just derping around. Quit derping around. Just imagine if you die and your body just suddenly starts spazzing out. Like, what the hell? I don't even know where I'm going, I'm just randomly exploring. Dead, meat, sack. meat sack. Pretty sure you're dead. Leave no stall closed. Okay, this beer is probably gonna be my last one. Don't wanna drink anymore. Got a lot left, by the way. Got two more over here. Oh crap! Mm. Ew! Freaking poured it too fast. Now there's like freaking the uh, foam was going out of my glass from the top. <laughs> hey, and when that happens. Quick to check what's over here. Museum of History. There's not like not really where exactly I want to go. Wait, isn't that underworld? Not sure. We are close. We should probably take a detour though. I'm not sure. The game just keeps telling me to go somewhere else. Yep. I think the Museum of History was Underworld. Not entirely sure. I'm trying to not even directly follow the compass markers because that kind of defeats the purpose of exploring. What we got over here? Some ammos. detour but uh, now we're kind of getting attacked by muties we gotta be careful over here there's a lot of them and they're not weak oh no they're not Oh, 
Oh crap, hi there. Join your party, bro. Oh, they're coming for me. Uh oh. So, Fallout 3 also got a lot of controversy for the super mutants in the game. Because they seem to be like brainless orcs in this game. And they weren't in Fallout 1. You see, here's the thing, in Fallout 1, they had leadership from the Master. Now they don't. And they're kind of, uh, you know, without leadership, it's kind of chaotic. Not only that, they do not have any FEV left to make new mutants. And since they're sterile, they cannot reproduce. They're kind of in, uh, you know, desperate. Picked up assault rifles, fuck. So I picked up hunting rifles. Well, I did as well. Hunting rifles are the bomb. Oh, someone threw a grenade. Yeah, I mean, the hunting rifle is a pretty good weapon. Kind of got to get used to the slow reload. But if we go to the Republic of Dave, we'll get a variant that has a quick reload. And I'll pretty much neglect all the negative things about this weapon. But yeah, these super mutants are... Uh, you know, just to give you a little background story. In Fallout 1, the Master... Uh, had, you know, his hands on something called the FEV virus. I believe Vault 76 also had it. And the FEV virus would mutate a person into a super mutant. And therefore, the super mutant be would be better, better capable of surviving the wasteland. Um... And that is why they think they are superior, basically. They're better capable of surviving the wasteland. The problem is, super mutants are sterile. Therefore, they cannot reproduce. Therefore, if they want to keep existing, they have to keep making other humans super mutants. But there's only a limited amount of FEV virus available. So you cannot endlessly keep making super mutants. That is not possible. So, yeah, they the super mutants are searching for more FEV virus. 
but they do not know that there is no more. They think, because Vault 76 had FEV virus, they think, oh, so vaults have FEV virus. No, only Vault 76 had it, the other vaults did not. That's why you'll see them at the Vault Tech headquarters, because they're looking for locations of more vaults to find more FEV virus, only to realize that there is actually freaking no hope for them. I had a dream where you were streaming Doom. For some reason, you had the hyper realistic eyes. Oh my god! Your mouth said it came out. Hyper realistic eyes. <gasps> like these. Hyper realistic eyes. It's a very sad story, but it actually does replicate the story of Fallout 1. You see. Fallout 1 is uh, about a water chip. We are humans. We are. Hu this is gonna go deep now with the stories and lores of Fallout 1 or the general Fallout universe. And I got most of this info from a YouTube video. Uh, it's a YouTube video called. Fallout 3 is better than you realize. If you just search that on YouTube, you'll find it. Amazing video. Um, Fallout 1. The quest starts uh, by... Your vault has a water chip that uh, gets destroyed. We are humans. We need water to survive. If we are, you know captured in a space without anything the first thing that will make us get die is lack of water we will not starve to death we will die of thirst first so the water chip in that vault is required to purify water the water chip the gets you know destroyed because, you know, it just gets destroyed. So you need to get your own waters of life. Uh, you need to get a new water chip to, you know, bring, bring your waters of life back. How long does it take before the average human get die? I don't know. So, in Fallout 1, you exit the vault to go f search for a water chip so that your water can keep continuing to go so you can keep surviving your population in the vault can keep surviving now the super mutants they rely on fev virus to reproduce so they're going outside to search for more so it's kind of the same deal they're they're on their own fallout one quest Kind of funny. <laughs> you would be you would alive for three days. Okay, but we are in the freaking museum of technology. Super mutants carry dog meat. Pencils carry n way nothing, so we can just take as many of them as we can. When's the next uh, freaking stretch alert coming? I wonder. Probably soon. Because I feel like going to the toilet. Toilet means stretching. But yeah, we are at the Museum of Technology. We want to find a new satellite dish so that we can amplify the signal of GNR radio. It should have gone off. Damn it, bot, you're not doing your job. Ew, mutilated torsos. 
Just take those and drop them. Mutilated torso. Such a good inventory item. Locked average. Museum maintenance. Urgh, so much stuff to read. There's a YouTuber I know who does all these readings. Kind of forgot his name at the moment, though. He is very good. He does a lot of interesting Fallout videos. About any lore and stories, he does a lot of reading and explains a lot of stuff. Just forgot his name. It was pretty simple, though. It was a dark, stormy vault. Uh, this is an amazing thing. He did say that, that YouTuber. So, we are in the Museum of Technology. Just, just look at this. Halls of today. And all you see is rubble. Because that is what today is. Just rubble. Nuclear fallout. Same goes for... Isn't that amazing? Isn't that freaking genius? Just halls of today. All you see is rubble. Because we are in a post-apocalyptic world where everything is just fucked. Ah, oh, that is so amazing. That is so cheeky. Alright, I'm gonna go quickly take a pee before we enter uh, the vault. Yes, a vault tour. We are entering the vault tour. I gotta take a pee. A pee pee. Six hundred milliliters. Uh, nah. Welcome you to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented triple S technology. Triple S technology is vault tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance: safety, survivability. And sanitation. Sleep and quiet, knowing that our impenetrable vault doors can withstand a direct hit by an atomic bomb with only a projected two percent failure rate. Projected. Not part of tool.
sections make use of our revolutionary floor suck auto cleaner system floor so suck kids never sweep again hashtag floor suck porn a bitch Okay. Or don't be. Step into our entertainer Tron room and watch the latest holotapes. Or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another all tech innovation. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras enable the vault leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. Aha, <laughs> amazing. Freaking helicopter thingy. You buy a vault if you had the money. Of course I would. Nuclear safety, man. Got to be safe from the atomic bombs. It's a rocket. Oh no. Vault dust. That's very aggressive, dude. Full time job. Why is that? health because it's huge you know I mean if everyone just would dust their own if everyone just clean their own room that would be that would be a good thing just clean your own room Everyone has their own rooms. Why, why, why the hell have one person clean everything if everyone can just clean their own freaking room? Oops. Would you invite? Only my friends. No one else. No one else would be allowed to join the Strunky Vault. Strunk Vault. Only best by Vault Dick. It's a camera. Delta Nine rocket. Average lock. God damn it, Bobby. Fuck. There we go. 
Not really anything over here. What is there? Museum maintenance. I'm not gonna read all of that. Well, there's probably some interesting stuff, but. Ah! Oh crap! No one heals! Welcome back, Light. We've missed you. Well, Trance might have not missed you, but I have missed you. Because I'm a nice person. Hey, it's the Lunar Lander! We were looking for this piece of junk. Weren't we? Well, okay, not Lunar Lander, the Virgo too. Easy to remove. Take it! Man, look at his ugly face. That's better. My Vats RNG is poor, what are you talking about? I'm pinpoint accurate, bruh. You don't wanna... You don't wanna challenge me. Oh, I've already been here. I wanna get some unique weapons, though. I don't wanna eat some Doritos, but... Don't wanna be an annoying, freaking crunchy noisemaker. This Ooh. requires key. Well, where the fuck's the key? I don't know of no key. I do know that the unique, uh, oh, this is a pretty cool place, by the way, let's save here. Check this out. For as long as history has been recorded, man has had an insatiable hunger for knowledge regarding the universe. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around our little world, Stars. For as long as history has been recorded. Stars. 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 Stop showing progress. I said stop. Oh, stop it, run. Stop. <laughs> Ex 
except it never starts exactly trans you get it Ooh, an easy hack hacking lead hackers simple four out of six uh, say... yeah this was this is probably it yep Hard lockpick, damn. Should have buffed my lockpicking skills. <laughs> stars, stars. What kind of plane was that, anyway? It's a Moroccan plane, but I don't know which one. Speaking of planes, I should stream World of War planes again. Space facts! Oh my god, space facts! Hi Wait, are there more over here? No, okay, it's just one section. <laughs> Wait, let you see what? Oh, the plane. I mean, here's just some rubble of it, but I can show you like an actual fun, an actual plane. Hold on, let me let me go check out that plane for you, trans. Cause there was one over here. There's one. I I mean, with those things here, it kind of reminds me like a German plane, but it is definitely American with that star, but. I don't know. Yes. P fifty one, okay. Cool. P fifty one. Nice job. Trans you in a cookie. Alright, who's ready for a freaking star facts hype? Was it star facts? Something facts. Okay, let's get this. Space facts. All right, guys. Eight facts about space. Fact number one. The planet Jupiter is larger than thousand Earths. Wow. Did you guys know that? Space fact number two. The outer layers of the sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days, but near the poles, it rotates once every 36 days. Wow, that is very odd. Space fact number three. A neutron star is completely dense in solid matter. In fact, it weighs a trillion times heavier than lead. That means a piece of a neutron star the size of a pinhead would weigh as much as a large building. Oh my god, that is very heavy. Space fact number four. The sun loses almost four million tons of mass every second. Wow, by turning hydrogen gas into energy. Adds up to almost 345 billion tons per day. <coughs> Fun fact related to the rotation of the sun. The magnosphere of the sun gets twisted around and around due to the phenomenon. <coughs> Space fact number five. If we were to send a message to someone on a planet belonging to our closest neighboring solar system Alpha Centauri which is almost 4.4 light years away we wouldn't receive a reply message for 8.8 .8 years oh my god that is so long <laughs> number five 
If we were to... That's the same one. Number six. I'm talking about lag. <laughs> there are about 175 billion galaxies in the observable universe, each with as few as 10 million stars, up to giants with 1 trillion stars, all orbiting a common center of mass. Wow! Space fact number 7. If all of the particles that make up Saturn's ring were gathered together, they would form a sphere about 120 miles in diameter. Oh my god, I don't know how big, big that is, because I'm a metric pleb. Even though metric is better than Imperial, come fight me. <laughs> Space fact number 8. Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, is the largest known volcano in the solar system. It's 370 miles... Fi oh, now you give me metric numbers. 595 kilometers across and rises 15 miles 24 kilometers that's three times taller than mount everest oh my god space facts <sighs> space facts with strongy <laughs> three million kilometers Oh, we're, we, we've went complete circle. Oh my god, is this a plane of the Wright Brothers? The Wright Flyer 1, designed by Orville Wright. Right, yep. I was right! Oh! <laughs> it was not even an intentional pun! Ah! What the fuck? Oh my god, that was not intentional. Oh my... I was... I was right. Oh, that was not intentional, guys. I'm dead serious. What the fuck? Oh, I can't cut his head out. <laughs> There's so many museums and stuff. You don't want to be right. Trans, have you ever visited Washington, D.C.? Never. Damn, the stream lag is pretty low. That's nice. I wonder if there's that many freaking oh the National Archives. <gasps> oh, we gotta explore that actually. There's some good stuff in here, bro. I believe it's here. Ranger frequency. Wait, what? This is Butcher of Ronnie's Rangers. I can't hear anything. This is Butcher of Riley's Rangers and then, and then stops. Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl is a neat game. I think I'm gonna try sink my teeth into it. Yeah, it is pretty neat. I actually plan to stream it one day. 
It is pretty cool. <gasps> Freedom! They're coming. Oh, Lock and load. No. They'll be here any second. Bring it. Oh, my God. Ah, he's a missile launcher. Yeah. Ah, crazy chaos. Kill them. Is that it? Oh my god, we got it! The complete mode and the enemies something something and now everyone's talking too fast. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a mod. Well, let's talk to this lady. Why don't you take a holodisc picture? It'll last longer. Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Thanks, you're not that bad yourself, lady. Yep, I sure am. <laughs> well, with what I do for a living, you need to be. Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. Uh, what do you mean for Felix Come Hunter? On. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. Only problem is, you're not going to get it without my help. <laughs> uh, I was stupid enough to shell out a bunch of caps for a scrap of paper. Like I said... Abraham Washington, that's who. He's got plenty of caps and all kinds of valuables for trade. The guy lives over in Rivet City, runs some sort of museum there. He buys all sorts of junk like this. Bring the declaration back with me, and we split the reward right down the middle. How's that grab ya? Sure. Smart move. Okay, the declaration is secured in the archive strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote terminal. When you're ready, punch in the password. Let's get going. Okay. There's a cargo lift right here in the rotunda. It should take us directly down to the lower levels. I was hacking the system right before we were attacked. The code should be, we the people. <laughs> we the people. Some kind of monster. All I know is that it looks like a rolled up piece of thick paper with all kinds of writing thick on it. Thick paper. Some famous document from a long time ago. Abraham Washington is a huge U.S. history nut. So, that's why he wants it so badly. Ha, <laughs> I'm surprised that you care. Usually everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. What is it you want to know? I don't know. I grew up like pretty much every other girl in this crappy world. Spent most of my life just trying to keep away from slavers. One day out in the wastes, I stumbled across some poor bastard's body. On the body, I found info leading to some famous document. I had heard that Abraham Washington was looking for these scraps of paper. So I went after the thing. Turned out to be the Constitution. After he loaded me up with caps, I got pissed drunk, got laid, 
and was happy for the first time in a while. I haven't looked back since. Hmm. Oh no. There is more than a lifetime supply of grade A crap in that place. Couldn't possibly do it alone. Like you, he hires anyone off the street. He didn't hire Honestly, me. Honestly, I don't care what he does with that stuff. As long as the caps keep flowing, I'll be there to collect. Yeah, it is nice. I don't even sleep without it under my pillow. My father made gun ammunition for a living. Taught me everything about how firearms work. So, I've spent my downtime tinkering with guns like my 10mm Ultra SMG here. It's like a hobby, I guess. Sorry, there's some things I still want to keep to myself. Maybe when I get to trust you better. Okay. I am getting so drunk when we get paid for this. Can we actually steal her? What's up? I don't think so. No. Can't steal her. She has a uh, unique 10 millimeter submachine gun. <laughs> a missile launcher. All them assault rifles. Or sorry, hunting rifles. Derp. A strong cool but one rich motherfucker in this environment. I got filtered. I put one that's super sledge. Check out what else is in store. Damn, this one motherfucking uh, bad thing, bad moderation. Ow, that hurts, bro. He crippled my leg and arm at the same time in one swing. Secretly hope she dies so I can claim her gun. I'm starting to feel uh, not well to keep playing this. I don't know. God damn it. Kill the Hell Knight. Good job, guys.
get him. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the side. Maybe you farted too much, trans. Damn it. Oh crap, it's a centaur. God damn it, had it almost. Ah, a trap I actually find. No more ah, damn it! More super mutants. Yeah, well, he did. Something less pleb. Yay, trans. You got your thing back. Empty inventory. What the hell? <laughs> Fart. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, sadly I'm so lazy to add the new sounds, I'm sorry. Someone was having a hangover. Of course there was nothing. Oh, she's almost dead, bruh. Hmm. I was sure I heard something. Now try and ah. hide from there. Man, I'm just walking into a random direction. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. And I thought I was going into an entire different building at the start. But I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong.
exit requires key down. I wonder where that key is. I guess we'll find. I have to find that key somewhere. I just don't know where. And I'm, I don't know. Ugh. Frick. Ugh. Uh, frick. I gotta. I mean, I'm like. I still have beer, but I'm not gonna drink anymore because I feel like I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, I just feel very weird today, sadly enough. Where I just. Don't feel motivated to play that much. Sadly enough. But I will still play a little bit, I think, for a few minutes. Not sure how long of the crew to before calling it a night. So just go race a little bit and we'll see for how long. And then we'll end it for the night.